Today we're testing a 1035 uh, elliptical gallon. Uh, it's going to be used for firefighting on a landfill site. It's got a six and a half horsepower Honda motor with a high pressure pump and it's set up to use two inch and a half BC forestry fire hose setups and a two and a half inch attachment for uh, local fire department use. It's also got a toolbox set up on the back for all the hoses and everything to be stored in, which can be locked up. It's on a 14 foot tandem axle trailer. Uh, this trailer setup is uh, going to be used on a uh, landfill site for fighting fires, and it can be used in any application where firefighting uh, on site is required for quick response. Trailer comes with spare tire, heavy duty jack, and is super built for this type of application. Uh, these tanks can also be baffled uh, to prevent sloshing. Here's a close up shot of the pump mounted on the back of the trailer. There's a two and a half inch uh, fire hose connection for the city fire department to hook up if they need extra water. The tank can be filled from external sources or it can also be filled using the pump and uh, it has a two inch filter as well in line to prevent uh, any solids from entering the pump or clogging the, clogging the nozzles. And we have a two valve setup with two BC forestry fire hose attachments and one garden hose attachment. We also have mounted a nice knack toolbox on the side for holding all of the hoses and fittings and accessories that we need for this unit. So it's a complete package and it's all quality. There's nothing skimpy about this. The trailer's rated for 14,000 pounds, so it's in excess of what it actually needs. And we've got some room for up front on the deck for carrying extra equipment and anything that might be needed on site. There's one spraying with the adjustable nozzle, so it can spray straight or it can also pit spray a fan spray. Now he's cranking up the spray nozzle, and you can see that it'll shoot a good distance. Um, probably shoot a good 25 feet in the air and 50 feet distant. Yeah, with the single hose it shoots quite a bit farther. You can probably get about 20 feet in elevation and uh, so you can easily shoot up onto the rooftop of the building as you can see so right now he's getting probably about 25 feet in height so you can even fire pretty high with this unit and uh, have good fire quashing capabilities.